That one is left down the leg side and a wide called to open proceedings. Katie Mack drives that one superbly through the covers. This could be the first boundary of the morning as it races away to the rope for four. Falcon is back in. Bowls full of ball. Oh, magnificent shot off the back foot. Falcon of Bowls. Kershaw smashes it in front of the cover this time. Down to the boundary for four more runs. Now full again. Kershaw hits a full toss. Wide of mid on. And that one slashed on the offside. That's very well played at the end from Katie Mack. That one brilliantly slashed away back with a point by Erica Kershaw. She's an attacking frame of mind and it continues with another boundary. That one slashed away by Erica Kershaw down the ground with precision. That is a serious shot. Kershaw again finding the gap through mid wicket. This one with more purpose than the previous shot and it's another four. And gone. Great response from Book Harris. Three boundaries off that over, and she gets Erica Kershaw with a change of pace. And that one, a bit of a death late cut from Katie Mack, and it races away to the boundary for four. As Barsby bowls, and it's cut in the air. Oh! Diving attempt by Courtney Webb. Women's uh, decided last week. Peterson bowls, and down the onside, flicked away beautifully by Beck Carter. And that one's a full toss, driven in front of point, down to the boundary for four runs. Slashed away, good cut shot there from Katie Mack. That was textbook, races to the boundary for four. Full toss, dispatched there by Katie Mack, through the gap again, yet another boundary. Harris bowls, and bowled straight through the defences of Rebecca Carter. Just nipped back off stump by the look of it. Porter gets the ball through the covers and smashes it. It beats the short cover and it flings out to the boundary rope for four runs. Peterson bowls to Porter and Porter drives through point. Beats Webb. That's not easy to do and it'll run down to the rope for four more. So last ball the over four. pulled away there by Katie Mack and you called it Jono. That's four as soon as it left the bat. It's from the southern end. Full toss, dispatched there by Porter. That's going to be two consecutive boundaries for the ACT Meteors, and that got the treatment it deserved. Full delivery from Betts, dispatched down the ground there by Porter with great intent. Will it reach the rope? Yes, it does. Good link delivery from Webb, but it's well picked up by Katie Mack, finding the gap well. A superb shot through extra cover, and that reaches the rope also. Yep, really constructed their innings really well and, and uh, scored runs at a good clip. Mack gets a short ball, thumps it between mid-wicket and square leg. Can it get the rope? It won't. It does now. Porter on strike, faces Peterson, goes high, slogs the ball in there. It's going down to mid-on, and the catch is taken. The 200 for the Meteors as Falconer in again, short, pulled away. Behind square, that might go to the rope, it does. Progressing it later in this innings. Falconer bowls, short, cut away magnificently. Four runs to Katie Mack. Not about you, but it's about giving back what you've been over, over the time. As Katie That's Mack works that one fine. Will it reach the boundary? Peterson with a big lunge. She can't quite get there. Mack pulls that one away, and that brings up a fantastic century. She's the pillar of the ACT, and she stars again with a wonderful 100. A day of milestones for Katie Mack, over 2,000 WNCL runs, and yet another century in the ACT colours. Um, and this time, that. advancing down the wicket, Osborne goes long over mid-off. In the game now, and this one is flicked over to mid-wicket, underneath it's Patterson, and she takes a comfortable catch at deep mid-wicket. And the Mawson end, bowls now, and it's squirted between gully and slip, all the way down to the boundary. Falconer. Bowls, Mack is out. Hits it straight to mid on. Power in her game as well. Falconer comes in, bowls short, cut away magnificently by Wickman. First ball, she faces down to the boundary for four. Wins it back in the crease. Faces Falconer now. Good length delivery. Hit up in the air. Betts might get under another one here. No! What a catch from Sam Betts! Unbelievable clutch! 
I'm sure she'll come off and tell everyone that it was completely on purpose, but I think she might have even lost track of that there and just sticking out the left hand there. What an unbelievable catch. But the important piece of that, Robbie, was she made... On strike is Leeson, hits the high. This could be another wicket. It's going high, getting under it is Barsby, and she takes the catch. So we have had three wickets in this over. They've just got to stay still here, pick their ball, pick their spot. Just like that. And Cook did that beautifully out to the deep mid-wicket. Boundary for four runs. They'll be all out. Cook back in her crease. Oh, works it nicely between keeper and wherever slip might have been for four more runs. Yates gets a good length ball and hits it towards cover. And the catch will be taken. Rafferty faces up and goes to mid-wicket on the first bounce out there to Bridget Patterson. They won't come back for the second. And that will complete the ACT Meteors innings at eight. Lindsay, when you're sent into bat and you walk away with eight for 282, I reckon you're going to be happy. I think you're really pleased. And we talked about the partnership, certainly from the start and through the middle for the Meteors, were absolutely key. We saw partnerships first ball of the innings. Patterson leaves that one outside the off stump. Mark Cricket Intel. Now this one, Sky top edge, up in the air, getting underneath it is Erica Kershaw, and she takes the simplest of catches. The first wicket's down, Bridget Patterson's gone for seven. So Sutcliffe up now, bowls, it's full, it's driven, it's out! It's a good catch! Yates takes the catch, Sutcliffe gets the wicket, Dooley's gone. Varied skill set required. So that one's cut away by Debro. sensational shot, back with a point. That breaks the shackles a little bit for South Australia. Cook bowls and worked away nicely by Debro Down to fine leg. Annie Wickman's going to come around trying to cut it off. She's no chance. Can she get an LBW? Swept away by Debro That one in the air. Just couldn't quite carry in the end. And that might race away to the boundary, such as the quick timing of that outfield. Webb strikes that one in the air, but safe. Works it towards the deep third boundary and it'll run away for four. Debro on strike. Goes down the wicket, drives and drives for four and brings up a half century. Well batted Emma Bro, took on the bowling, got it over the infield and he's got along to 52. Good batting Emma Debro. This time cuts and out, caught at point. The catch is taken. Darts that one in. Well cut there by Courtney Webb. Penetrates through the gap for four. And that breaks the shackles. O'Neill works down the track. Is she going to be taking it straight down the throat? Good catch at the end. Brook Harris, three for 50 as well, similar to today. Correct. As Webb works that one away. Onto the onside, and she picks up her third WNCL half century. She's been a great contributor. She holds the key for South Australia in this game. Sutcliffe bowls now, and Webb does exactly that, but can't get it over the top. And the catch is taken by Beck Carter at mid-off. Ellie Falconer on strike. Hits it in the air, and it's a good catch. Taken by Carly Leeson at cover. McFarlane faces up now, advances down the wicket. It's well played, it's through the gap, and that'll go away for four runs. Always a busy player, faces the youngster. Sutcliffe comes in, a full delivery, driven beautifully through the covers for four. The Scorpion, skipper. This one, bowl! Straight through does go Gabby Sutcliffe, picks up wicket number three, and Barsby's gone for a quick cameo. That one straight up in the air and a good catch from Amy Yates. Very good reflexes, caught and bowled, another wicket falls. And South Australia certainly on the ropes now. Betts, skies that one in the air. Will it be taken? It should be a regulation catch and it's well taken in the end. Harris down the track, Osborne is that a run out? Yes it is, what a way to finish. Aaron Osborne, the stalwart for the ACT Meteors, completes a run out, and that completes the game. The ACT deliver a cruel blow to South Australia's season. South Australia would need to beat Victoria with a bonus point, 
and they would finish second to be in the final. So mathematically, they can still make it, but certainly a big loss today doesn't help their cause at all.